Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting really to episodes 7 and 8 of Nyan Nyan, uh, <laughs> Nyan, Nyan by Yori. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 7 in 3, 2, 1, go. I hate when I have something in my mouth. The freaking pretzel that I ate! Good job, baby. Glad you got all your homework done. Now, you know, as for everyone else. I don't think that's really wise, right? Read a book. I'd be like Otaru. Yeah. Don't you have to tie the ends, too? Oh my god! <laughs> it's me, kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, honey.
Yeah. <laughs> Don't think you're a toma a tomato. <laughs> Remember, you gotta remember, she's a little kid, so you know her attention span. It, it's a, mm, it's not like the rest of ours. Aww, I hope you paint it. Looks cute. Girl, what? <laughs> okay, hold on. You know the mask for the theater mask? That's <laughs> Oh. You're not going to try to eat it, right, Ren? You're going to be like Aqua and, and hold on to a clay egg. Okay, so let's just go to lunchtime then. I feel for him. That clay figure of <laughs> the character was so cute. He could have baked that and then took it home, painted, I think it's like the clear sheen to sh make a shine. Not the incinerator. See, now when I'm thinking of incinerators-ish, if any of you have seen the show Only Murders in the Building, a character got killed by an incinerator, so just wondering who did it. And I won't know until probably like a month or two from now. I need to know now. <laughs> you okay? You want a band aid? Uh, right?
Okay, go! And if it doesn't, yeah, that's a smart idea. Shut the F up. Just shut up. My God, that's what smart as fuck rabbits. Oh shit! Oh my God, I'm crying. <laughs> Are you kidding me? here three old days No. Another bunny is just getting out. <laughs> Please open the door. Yeah, your older sister. So, you know, it, it is a win-win. 
But not really. I hope they caught that smart ass rabbit. <laughs> These two ain't even say bye. <laughs> Probably just look at each other and be like, hey, yo, I'm seeing you tomorrow. Be like, this is a loss for us. Let's just go home. Oh, yeah, right, right. Yeah, yeah mm hmm, mm hmm. Not a watch. Poor baby. Oh, man. Yeah. Well, yeah, just to, you know, because it's fun. Oh, okay, Great Man's supposed to be um, a reference to Ultraman. I figured. Yeah? Honestly, now, even watching this, I really honestly want to rewatch the Ultraman Netflix movie. That was so freaking good. I'm praying they got a sequel because, like, you can't end it like that with that after credit scene and not expect me for a fucking sequel.
Well, damn. Are you giving her curry? is really cool honestly I feel like her and Renge's sister they already are best of friends so I'm kind of secretly hoping that um we do get an episode that you know we get to see like their backstory together But yeah, secretly I'm hoping for that because it seems like they are very somewhat close or they're friendly with each other. Because um, I'm guessing, you know, maybe when they were kids, they probably went to school together. I'm not 100% sure on that. But yeah, also talking about the Ultraman reference. That was very nice. Once again, still kind of probably want to rewatch the movie. I'm currently busy, but you know, definitely want to rewatch it. Praying to God once again to get a sequel for that movie. Because that movie was too good. If you have not seen the Netflix Ultraman movie, please, 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 for the love of God, take the time out. Eat, whether it's your day off of work, school, whatever, or you're just getting off of work, watch the movie. Good ass movie. I enjoyed the hell out of it. I almost wanted to watch it again with my mom, but I didn't know if my mom was going to like it. And... I just decided not to. But no, I really love this episode. Also, with the rabbit. A smart ass, a, a smart ass rabbit. Bugs Bunny would be dancing in his grave if he knew about this bunny. Um. <laughs> The butt the rabbit was just the highlight of this episode. I mean, oof. <laughs> Cause he the way he smirked and he was like, Oh, I'm about to run with this. I surely am. But like Excuse me? Hello? <laughs> Smart ass buddy? Excuse me, nah, bruh. <laughs> but no, that was so freaking cute. And the poor Hotaru. Also, let's talk about Hotaru's outfit. Like, I, I loved it. Very nice. I'm not, I'm not always a green type of girl. I felt like green to me. Like, from what people have told me, green and olives look really good, like, on my skin complexion. But I don't always like the way green looks on me. So, but on her, very pretty. I love that. Good ass color. Yes. But go ahead and pause the video and I will see you guys in one second for episode eight. All right. Episode eight in three, two, one, go. No.
Yeah, so you don't cut your fingers. You want some help? Sure. Not too much and not too little. Did did you put the rice in water? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, you know what I would do in that moment? I'd be like, all right, give give me some water. Let's add some water to this. We just we gonna have some soup rice. <laughs> <laughs> you sure did. Yeah. No, no. The way she just threw her under the bus. <laughs> no. <laughs> you do?
Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Woo! <laughs> Not the fucking frog song. Oh. Haven't heard that song since what two thousand and five or six? That was when Radio Disney was still a thing, too. Okay. Well, fashion, duh. Like... Do you even have a love story, baby? We're waiting. Mm hmm. Thought so. Whoa! <laughs> I guess because I like sugar in my coffee, I'm I'm a little kid because I I can't drink it just straight black. Like mm -mm. I I need some cream, some sugar, some sweetening. That 
to the point that I am not tasting coffee. It's really pretty out. That's the one thing I, that I love about my favorite season, Autumn. Not only for my birthday, is that Autumn is really pretty. Very beautiful. Here in Florida, we get that, like like I said, we get the four seasons throughout a week. Because Monday, Tuesday, it could be sunny as I don't know what. Wednesday, Thursday, um, it could literally look like it's fall outside. Uh, Friday, Saturday, and maybe even Sunday, cold as I don't know what, and then maybe warm. Yeah. Aww. Well, let's see, Ren. Aw, that's really good, Ren. But, it, I mean, you know what? It's a self-portrait of her. Definitely. So now what do we do? Oh, okay, so like nap time? <laughs> Y'all remember that one episode of Demon Slayer? When they were flying all the airplanes? <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember what I said? <laughs> if not, it is a short. Oh, <laughs> well, I mean, not that far, but as I was saying, it is a short. <laughs> One of my shorts on my channel. Definitely go watch that. That was a funny moment for me. <laughs> Nice job, girls. 
Damn, I wanted to see that drawing, though. Because it seemed like to oh, Tara was about to draw some real good ish. Probably not as good as Rank Guy, but, you know, hey, so good. Not too long ago. Right, I mean, in a way to get back at her. Well, yeah!
should just pick one. <laughs> Like, what the heck is this? What happened to this thing? Why is it all marked up? <laughs> okay. <laughs> With Mari, I love the fact, once again, this is a baby who's just trying to be mature AF. Um, I feel like I was like that, too, because, okay, so even at my age, I, I still, there are moments, like, my personality, I am, like, a mature as fuck, but I still have, like, my, my little silly moments where I'm, like, I still want to be a little kid and such, and I love that because I, I can switch it, like, it's not even funny. Um, how, <laughs> it's funny because, like, okay, as an adult, the one thing that I love now as being an adult and I have my own money is that I can buy things that I wanted as a kid now, and, and that, like, um, that essentially, it, it, mm, what's the word? Excuse me. Um, it, it's like, you know, getting, lo showing love to your inner kid. And, and I love that. I truly do. I, I love the fact that now as an adult, I'm able to buy th certain things that I wanted, um, throughout like the last couple of years for maybe like how I was as a teenager um up to like my early 20s where I was just like damn I really want this can't get it but I think the day that I finally get the one thing that I really want like that's gonna be the best day for me and I look at those as like really big accomplishments and stuff so like of course the two gaming systems that I play um one more than the other uh probably because it's not over here, it's right here. Um, of course, uh, not this, well, not this version of this phone. Um, the previous iPhone that I got. Um, and I can say a little bit of this, and eventually when I, in due time, when I do say, hey, I want the iPhone whatever, or when I bought, like, the Apple Watch for me and my mom, um, little things and such. I think my other biggest accomplishment that I'll have whenever I do get enough money for it, the car. I have been wanting a car for like the longest time because I, I hate the fact that I have to rely on my mom just to get me to and from work or nine out of 10, I have to rely on family members. Um, we're not going to talk about that and such because essentially, um, both because it is still Thursday for me. Uh, both tomorrow and Sunday, while you guys are all probably chilling, maybe some of y'all got to work on Sunday too, I have to rely on family members to pick me up. It's either that or I, can, I take an Uber and such. And when you think about, like, Uber money, that fucking piles up and adds up very fucking quickly, especially with, like, with all of your other bills that you have to pay. So that's why, like, my mom was like, just whatever, whatever job I have and stuff, always try to save enough money so that I can get a car and I can make a down payment and such. So the day that I finally am able to get the car that I want, the car of my dreams, I will be the happiest girl or woman alive because I, that would be the biggest accomplishment for myself that I saved up enough money. I did it all on my own and such, even with everything else. The fact is that I'm able to do it on my own and I'm able to get things whenever the fuck I want to and I don't have to ask my parents for money. Um, it feels good. It feels really, really good. I, I like uh, One thing I will say, I would say 20... Mm, no, I'll take that back. I'll say 6... Mm, nope, I'll say... 17, 18 year old Deja up to like her early 20s Deja definitely would feel very proud of me, a 30 year old Deja <laughs> with everything that has escalated. I even think little kid Deja, aka like baby, baby Deja would definitely also be proud of current Deja as of right now. And I love that. And seriously, when you are able to get things for yourself, that sense of pride, you know, never, never forget that. Always remember that. But no, these are so good episodes. But yeah, no, no, no. Her, like, <laughs> Mari talking about passion and everything and wanting to be mature as fuck. I love that. Poor baby. Like, I, I just love how she's like, yeah, look at the sketchy I had. And they're both like, oh, that's nice. I feel like, damn. Screw y'all. <laughs> 
Other than that, guys, that is our reaction view towards episode 7 and 8 of Nya Nyan Bayori. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for Patreons and next Monday for everybody else for episodes 9 and 10. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!